Hello dudes, Axel here. Welcome to another Axel Tech video. So today we're going to be looking at uh, getting DaVinci Resolve 15 set up on a fresh installation of Ubuntu 18.04. Now previously I did say that I was going to also test it on Linux Mint and I think I mentioned Fedora as well. I think it was specifically those two that I mentioned. Um, so with Linux Mint, as happened previously, I was not able to install it because for some reason it wouldn't install Grub, and that just kind of messed up the installation, so it, it, I couldn't get that installed for some reason, which is weird because I've never had that kind of problem with Linux Mint before, but yeah, it wouldn't, I, I couldn't get it to install. Um, as for Fedora, I was going to test that. But then when I was looking into things, I realized that I'm not entirely sure if you can even get AMD OpenCL on Fedora right now. I'm sure at some point in the not-too-distant future, like once more of the um, uh, ROCM, that's the Radeon Open Compute stuff, is like once more of that is upstreamed, it'll probably be a lot easier and a lot more possible to do that on Fedora. In fact, it might be now. But the goal of a lot of my videos is to try to keep things as user-friendly as I can. And so the easiest and most user-friendly way is just to go through Ubuntu and other more easily supported distributions. So I figured Ubuntu is basically the most used Linux operating system anyway. So I'm going to focus on that for now. In the future, I am definitely open to doing other distributions though so don't worry about that too much but for now we're just doing ubuntu and in the uh recording session that follows this i, I redid the intro because it was kind of a mess i kind of recorded it like at the in the middle of the night last night because i was like i want to do this right now but that was not my best idea anyway the rest of this is going to go over that process so enjoy or don't enjoy and laugh at me for being an idiot. I, whatever you want to do. Bye-bye. Just before this, I ran updates to make sure everything is up to date before I go about installing the uh, AMD OpenCL drivers. So, right, that being said, this is also only going to be focusing on if you have an AMD graphics card. If you're on an NVIDIA graphics card, uh, theoretically, all you should have to do is go to software and updates here. Now, it's not going to show for me in this because this is running an AMD card, but if you're on NVIDIA, under Software and Updates, you, um, you should see an option for the NVIDIA proprietary drivers. Go with the latest version of that that's available. And at that point, I don't know if that particular version will work for the latest version of Resolve, but um, try that first. If it doesn't... Uh, I mean, of course, you can go ahead and Google to further answer yourself, but you can also let me know in the comments below, and I'll look into it a bit more myself, see what I can figure out. But um, yeah, for now, for this video, it's only going to be for the AMD side, so not 100% sure about how you would do things if you're running an NVIDIA card, but theoretically, all you should have to do is just install the latest drivers from additional drivers here, which again, you don't see it right now because I'm on AMD, not NVIDIA. Anyway, if you are on AMD like me, technically you have two options, but we're just going to be going with the option of the um, AMD GPU Pro drivers because I tried the other way, which is their ROCM open compute stuff, and it didn't really work right away. Plus, this way is probably a bit, like, this way is a lot simpler anyway, even if it's not fully open. Well, actually, is that even entirely true? I don't know if that's entirely true, actually. Anyway, if you're on AMD, um, go to AMD's website, go to Drivers and Support, find whatever card series you have here. Now, this is going to vary a little bit if you're on a Vega card versus an RX 500 or older card. We'll get to that a little bit later. In my particular case, I'm on an RX 570. So you click Submit. Scroll down to Ubuntu, and then you would download that, and you would wind up with this tar tarball right here. Then you extract that, just right click extract here, it will go into a folder like so. And then in this folder, you want to right click, open in terminal, and you just do dot 
forward slash AMD GPU install. You can press tab to auto complete that. If you press tab a little too soon, you will also see the pro install thing there. Just do regular install. And then this is where things will vary a little bit. If you're on Vega, you want to do dash dash open CL equals PAL for PAL. If you're on an RX 500 series or older, instead of PAL, you're going to put legacy. Let me actually, whoops, that's not what I meant to do. Let me actually um, drag this up. Why can't I? Oh, right, because they have it where it's middle mouse button to resize by default. I usually have that on right, right mouse button, my mistake. So anyway, Andy GPU install, OpenCL legacy. If you are an RX 500 series or older, otherwise do PAL. Technically, they do also show that you can do comma PAL to have both installed. I don't know if that messes with anything if you do install both, but it's simple enough to figure out which uh, which one you need to do. So legacy for RX 500 or older, if you're on Vega, PAL. So in my case, we're doing legacy because I have an RX, RX 570. Hit enter, enter your password. And then it'll start doing that. Okay, sorry about that. I have my test machine hooked up to Wi-Fi and the router in this house is terrible. All's good now though. Alright, and once that's done, since it was a driver installation, you will want to reboot your system. So you do that, we're going to go back to the download folder, back into DaVinci Resolve. Right, uh, for DaVinci Resolve 15, I should probably show this part. Is that the search we did before? Yeah, okay. Don't worry about that one either. So, DaVinci Resolve 15. This is a very long web page with the download link all the way at the bottom. Now, when you do do the download for Linux, it does for it does make you give information about yourself before you do that. I know that's probably going to be a turnoff for a lot of you freedom-loving people, which is totally understandable. For those of you who are okay with it, you fill out the information, then you click register and download. I've already done this and I do not want to put in my personal information in this on video. So, so you would do that, you would download it, you would get the zip file and like with that you would just go extract here and then you get the folder. Now, open a terminal like with the drivers. Unlike the drivers, you will need to preface this with sudo, as that's a super user do for those who aren't aware. So you do that and then DaVinci, you can press tab to complete, hit enter. Enter your password, and if you so choose, you can read through the end user license agreement here. And if you accept, of course, hit Y. It's gonna check all that stuff. And we wait again. Once that's done installing, if all went well, let's close all this stuff out. Eh. All right, so you will get a desktop icon. I don't use desktop icons. Um, I forgot to turn those off. Let's go over to all tab. You should have resolve in your list here. You can also just type resolve and click or enter that. You will be greeted with a welcome screen. So, um. You are free to go through the tour if you so choose. I'm going to go ahead and skip the tour. Once you do that, uh, let's go and do a quick setup. To do all checks out, continue. Just gonna click. I'm gonna I'm gonna do Ultra HD because I always do above 1080p because YouTube likes to not really give enough uh, bit rate to 1080p videos, so I always do 1440 but most people are probably just gonna do 1080p, so you do what is best for your projects. I'm gonna click Ultra HD, continue. 
and this is where you would choose to restore media for this installation doesn't really matter but you can put that wherever you'd like that'll also determine where um, that'll be a default folder for where you would uh, export your projects to once you're done and you're going to render but you can also add other locations later so this is just kind of the default initial project media location as it says there anyway hit continue um, if you're also used to other editors you can choose a keyboard layout like those I just stick with resolve personally anyway once you've done all that click start you will be greeted with this splash screen which will also see this instead of the welcome screen for subsequent launches and wait for it and there you go nothing special needed we just kind of have resolve here um it doesn't really have window decorations like most stuff actually i think it just kind of starts full screen maximize let's see yeah no it doesn't get window decorations or anything so that's a little different no. maximize that again so yeah there you have it we are up and running with davinci resolve and it is ready to edit your videos with a couple of caveats as there always are so um I wasn't sure if I was going to talk about this in this video or a different one, but it's probably worth mentioning here. So, for DaVinci Resolve on Linux, if you're running the free version, you cannot import clips that are encoded in H.264. I think it's because of like some patent issue, which technically shouldn't even be a problem anymore if I understand things right, but that is currently how things are with the free version of Resolve on Linux. I think I think the paid version doesn't have that problem, but I'm not 100% sure. So if you're running the free version, you won't be able to import H.264 encoded stuff. So for those who are a bit less familiar, that's that's usually going to be like if you record something like the default output is going to be an MP4 file or something, usually that's encoded with H.264. You won't be able to put that straight into Resolve on Linux if you're running the free version but you can work around that. You can convert the file to a more um, editing friendly codec. I use ProRes. I'm not gonna go in exactly how to do that here, but in the future, I'm going to do a video dedicated to my own personal video production workflow. So going from recording to editing, probably not a whole lot of pre-planning because I do not do a lot of scripts for my stuff when I probably should. But anyway, that is how we get up and running with DaVinci Resolve 15 on Ubuntu 18.04. As always, if you guys have any questions or concerns or other rants that you would like to share, feel free to do so in the comments below. You can also reach out to me on social media over on Twitter at Axel94 and over on Mastodon at linuxrocks.online slash at Axel. Till next time. This has been Axel. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.